um, I'm here to show you how to do a full face of makeup with Atomy Makeup. So Atomy is a Korean based company and they are quite big in Asia already. Um, they're moving over to the UK and so they've asked me to collaborate with them as I am a UK based makeup artist. So they've sent me a few products and I'm just going to show you how to do a full face of makeup with their products and I'll be talking through all of it as well. They are vegan and cruelty free. I have read up on all the items that I'm using and um, I've tried to find some like pros and cons of everything that I'm using. So I've already cleansed, toned and moisturised my skin already um, and then we can just go straight to the makeup. They do do a lot of skincare stuff as well but um, I'll get to that but today is just mainly makeup. So they've given me like a little makeup brush set comes like that and everything is just in Korean so it's a makeup brush set that contains five essential brushes for an easy professional makeup application so there's a big fluffy brush a fluffy eyeshadow brush a smaller fluffy eyeshadow brush it's a double-sided so you've got an eyebrow brush and then you've got like an eyeshadow applicator and I think this is a lip stick applicator. We've got two little refills. So to start off with we're going to be using Ask Me BB Cream um, in number 23. Comes like this. The SPF is actually 50 plus which is so good. Um, they are working on darker colours right now so this colour might be a little bit too light for me but this is the darkest colour that they have. I'm just going to apply with my fingers. I always find that's best as you can get really like into the pores and all the creases. So just two pumps. As you can tell, this is a lot lighter than my skin, but if you blend it in, it is really, really smooth. Go on. So the BB creams, it's basically like a moisturizer and like a, a tint. So obviously that color was quite light, but it has blended actually really well with my skin. So it feels so smooth and it doesn't feel like cakey at all. Next, they've sent me three different colors of eyebrow pencils. I've got a dark brown, a milk brown, and a dark gray. So this eyebrow pencil contains black beans and it's got vitamins B12 and B1. So it should keep your eyebrows hair strong and healthy. And to apply the eyebrow pencil, you just follow the strokes of your hair. And it, all it does is leave a little marking. So if I show you on my hand. So that's the grey, that's the light brown, and that's the dark brown there. So as you can see, they're quite light, but it just leaves that like fine hair line. And that's the same on the other side as well. After you put that on, be sure to blend. So use the eyebrow brush. And blend it all together. So next up, we have the Atomy Pink and Brown Eyeshadow Kit. So this is what the inside looks like. It's got all those kind of metallic colours. What I like to do is apply a lighter brown all across my eyes like that. As you can see it's quite metallic, it does pick up the colour really really easily. You're going to all over your lid. I like to mix it up with a bit of mix the pink and the purple together to get your eyes a little bit of colour. And then what you do is make a crease with the darker brown. So if you go from in a corner and just kind of brush in. again with the other side. Okay. 
and blend it. So we have got a brush pen eyeliner. So it's rich with proteins, calcium, vitamins B1, 2 and 3 and iron. So it protects and nourishes the skin around the eyes as well. And what we're going to do is do a little winged eyeliner on both sides. So what you want to do is look down, follow your bottom um, waterline and kind of line it up. like so. So same again on the other side. So after the winged eyeliner, you've got this. And what I'm going to do is underline my eyes with the eyebrow pencil. So it can be a W, so it can be for eyebrows and it can also be for eyeliner. So if you just pull your eye down a little bit and just gently underline the waterline. The dark brown again just to underline the waterline again, just to get give it that a little bit of depth. Um, what I do like to do is now I'll get the light gold. And what I'll do is I'll put that in the inner corners of my eye and then use the other side just to blend all of that. Also to highlight the upper brow area. And then what I've got is Atomy Volume Mascara. So it's smudge proof and clump free. And we're just gonna apply that I mean, I wish I had longer eyelashes so you could see. Oh, this mascara is actually really, really nice. Um, I don't really work well with a lot of mascaras, but this seems to pick up every single hair and it is very dark and it is coating every single eyelash. I'm just gonna put on a second coat. So we've got a blooming orange, a blooming red, blooming coral, blooming pink, blooming warm red, blooming nudie rose. So there are six colours. I'm going to go with the blooming nudie rose. So I don't really like putting stuff on my lips but um, I've tried this the other day and it was so creamy and it doesn't really dry your lips out, so it's literally so perfect. So these are all the colours. They are quite corally, they are quite pink, um, but they are nice and glossy as you can tell. To finish off, we've got three liquid lip tints. So we've got a red marker, a magenta and a living coral. The liquid lip tint is a really easy applicator. Um, it's vivid and it's bright and the lips always feel moisturised afterwards so I'm just going to put a little bit on so we've got magenta uh, living coral and red marker so they will dry matte which is really really good so I've got the magenta one on now um, so this is a full face of makeup that I've done with Ask Me Makeup so here is the finished look. 
I absolutely love it. It's more natural than I normally go for, but... Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you soon. Bye.